Well, it's over. Vols have lost nine straight years to the Florida Gators. Gosh, you kidding me? Well, this is not a good start to the weekend. Both my, my teams are already 0-2, 0-2 to begin the weekend. Bears and Titans play. Um, Titans play tomorrow and Sunday. I think the Bears play on either Sunday night or Monday night. I don't know. I'll have to check. Anyways, here's how it all begun. It had begun last night on Friday when McGarrick had a 16-0 lead over Hillsboro at halftime. And it ended up blowing it and losing... Yes? Hello? Hey, I'm on camera right now. What is it? Go to my grandparents' house. Okay, bye. Alright, now I'm back. Sorry about that. Just random phone call. From my, from my best friend, because trying to work things out to go to the Titans game tomorrow. Anyways, back to the game. I meant then then rain and injuries cost the Raiders the game because they lost the game 16-28 at the end of the game and um and it you was know, and also what's even worse is that Kendall my best Kendall my best friend and also the starting running back in the football team if you haven't already known that already he got hurt, I think, late in the third quarter or early in the fourth quarter. It's either a foot injury, an ankle injury, or a leg injury. Or an ankle injury, if, I've already, if I haven't said that. But, I'm, I hope he's okay. I hope he can, I hope he's ready in time for next week, or hopefully ready for the homecoming game two weeks from now. And, um, now on to the Vols. I was thinking that they'd finally, finally, finally end the losing streak of eight years. But you know what? They hung in there late in the game, but the defense that had already given up a bunch of points but still managed to hang in there couldn't handle it, neither could the offense, and we ended up losing the game 31-17. to But I predicted the Vols to win 31-17, to but other way, twice, Florida wins 31-17, to and the Vols lose. Well... Tough game. I hope the Titans come tomorrow, and I hope that the Bears can be win tomorrow. And um, coming up shortly, I will get. I'll have my crow video. Bye. Oh wait, before I hang up. Well, I meant in order for. T I think Tennessee will um, beat Florida maybe in the next two or three years. I don't know. Hope maybe next year if we get a miracle. But anyways. One of the ways we'll be able to win is that Butch Jones, during the offseason next year, will have to recruit harder to get good players, five stars, play, five star players, four star players who can actually play in the SEC. I mean, to, um, I mean, because every year a new head coaches came in, they've had to make something out of the old coaches' players. I mean, when Johnny Majors came in, he had to make something out of Bill Battle's players. Then when Philip Fulmer came in. He had to make something out of Johnny Major's players. And then when Lane Kiffin came in, he had to make something out of Philip Fulmer's players. And then when Derek Dilly came in, he had to make something out of Lane Kiffin's players. And now, Butch Jones just came in, he has to make something out of Derek Dilly's players. Butch Jones needs to go out there and he needs to get his own players who can actually play in the SEC and actually win ball games for us. Well, coming up next will be my Crow video. Alright, bye.